Hey, welcome, folks. Welcome to part two of Final Fantasy III. Um, from where we last left up, um, we uh, explored Volta Cave, checked our first town out. We're now going to head south. Um, and again, we'll, we'll show this off because it's a new area. Uh, same old goblins. Um, um, not sure if I quit the items that I purchased, so um, I, I get those equipped as well. I think I might have done, but um, I mean, yeah, I didn't. Uh, so yeah, job level increases. The job level is um, sort of deal specifically with what job you've got to quit. We'll go into more detail next stream about that, uh, or next video about that. But, um, yeah, just know for now um, that we have a job at the moment. It's set to freelancer. And, um, yeah, um, each action you take in battle, uh, that, that's what contributes to level that up. Right, uh, now there's a couple of enemies that I want to look about here uh, to complete my vestry, uh, specifically in the desert area. Uh, now, what we want to look out for is the killer bee, the werewolf, and the berserker. The berserkers can be quite tough, and the killer bees can inflict poison, so uh, just make sure that you use your poison and magic if you do have it. Uh, I'll catch you guys once I've um, encountered the enemies I want to encounter. Here we go, we've got Werewolf and Killer Bee straight off the bat. I'm going to focus on Killer Bee first because um, they're getting poison, he's not the one. Again, these guys can be quite tough, so, you know, don't worry about having to heal up or anything if, if you need to. Um, but yeah, next, um, next one is the Berserker. Uh, again, those can deal quite a bit of hefty damage. Oh, awesome. <laughs> well, uh, that, that makes editing a lot simpler, I think. Um, so, there we go. Get rid of you. Um, yeah, you won't be searching around for hours at a time, but, you know, just be aware that it might take a little while. Okay, let's head into town. Hello. Ah, <laughs> sorry, I should have put more effort into that. Ah, it's me, Luna, don't be afraid. Why did you run off on your own? What are you trying to prove anyway? Let me go with you, Luna. I want to show everyone that I'm not a weakling. I did manage to come here all by myself. You'll take me with you, Luna, won't you? I will. I guess. Alright, if that's what you want. Out. We'll uh, make sure to get him equipped as well whilst we're at it. Uh, put him on with a shield. Um, give him a knife in now. There we go, one of the bomb's bases. Um, uh, so there's nothing we can actually purchase from the shops as yet. Um, oh, just uh, heal up. Only the power of Mythol can banish a djinn. That is why the djinn cursed this town. Once it found out how nearby mines are packed with the stuff. If only we had a myth or ring that a blacksmith had forged. It's the only thing that may banish a gin. The gin we had, uh, that we had banished into the sealed cave was released by the earthquake and cast a curse on us all. But I wonder what our next task is to do. I wonder where the smith's daughter has gone. I remember complaining about the training and not wanting to follow in her father's footsteps. I wonder if she has a myth or ring in her possession. Well, let's hope so. Um, so I purposefully ignored one person, and we're going to ignore them again. Because uh, if we zoom in here, 
we'll get another potion. Now let's uh, speak to this guy. Howdy there, Sid's the name, I'm from Canaan. I've been stuck here ever since Snow Valley got blocked by a giant rock. On top of that, I got a curse cast up. It's not having a good time, is he? Uh, along with these other folks, ain't that a trip in a half? <laughs> um, Luna, we have to do something to help these people. Say, if I lend you my airship, do you lads think you could help me and these other saps? <laughs> okay, don't call them saps, man. Um, from what I hear, this curse can be dispelled through the power of a Mithril Ring. Unfortunately, we all seem to be out of Mithril Rings here. Even if we could get Mithril, Taka the Smith has been turned into a ghost himself, and his daughter, the Apprentice, has gone missing. My airship's hidden in the desert west of here. Use it to lift this curse. You can use A to get on the airship and B to get off. Gotcha. Same goes for all the other vehicles too. I got it, I got it. Okay, well, uh, that's our next task. Uh, but before we go on with that, let's uh, have a continue to explore this place. <laughs> I can get in. Hello, Taka. Uh, what? How many times do I have to say it? No, I don't have any Miffle rings. I want to get rid of this curse as much as you. But how am I to, to temper Mithril as a ghost? Even if I weren't cursed, I couldn't work unless I knew my daughter was safe. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have been so harsh in training her. Okay, well, sorry about your, your troubles, but we don't want your Mithril ring. We just want your potion. Uh, but speaking of Mithril equipment, uh, you can actually get a... <laughs> once I can find my way through these woods. <laughs> uh, of course, it's here. <laughs> That's me thinking imbecile. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you zoom in here, by this tree, we get a Mithril Helm. And by this tree, we get a staff. Um, and then, by this tree, we get Zeus's Wrath. Uh, that deals um, sort of like an Antarctic wind, but for uh, electrical damage. Um, I promise I will show off the Antarctic wind soon, actually. But we can get that Mithril Helm um, equipped. A bit better than a leather cap. And uh, I think that's everything for this place. Uh, as I say, we can't actually purchase any, um, any uh, items here. Uh, one other thing, there is a cave here, the Mithril Cave, uh, Mithril Mine, sorry. Um, we're probably too low level at this point, uh, and we'll be coming to that a little later. So, yeah, just know that it's there. Okay, let's uh, get out of here. Let's get onto my airship. Oh, what are you doing on my ship? Eek, who are you? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. This is Sid's airship and he's like us use it. Yeah, get off it, Raffia. Uh, raised in cases by the Mipple Smith Tacker, whose vigorous training led her to run away from home. Again. Uh, so, yeah, this is our. Um, uh, this is our uh, next party member, Raffia. Raffi. Um, <laughs> so let's welcome her for. I'm Raffia, and I'll have you know that my father and I forged the parts of this ship back in Kazers. That means you're the blacksmith's daughter. You have to help us make us a mythal. Uh, you have to help us make a rip mythal thing. Yes, that's the only way we'll be able to lift the curse on Kazers. Hey. I can't. I can't make Mithril rings. I didn't study that far. I didn't want to. Swell. I don't think Sid's going to be particularly happy with that news. Wait, I know where we can find a ring. My father forged a Mithril ring for Sauron <laughs> for King Sassoon a long time ago. He should still have it. Let me go with you. I can't make Mithril rings, but I want to help my father and the people of Kazus. Okay. It'll be good one. Slacking got saved her from curse, so maybe that look will look, 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 uh, look on, on us 
<laughs> of a buff on those guys, whatever. Hey, that's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> um, right, okay, well, welcome aboard, Jeff, yeah? And, uh, yeah, before we get to find our airship, let's uh, equip Jeff, yeah? Awesome. Okay, all aboard. <laughs> there we go, all aboard. Yeah, we're going to find this. We know each other, we understand each other. Uh, but yeah, this is our airship. Uh, can't really go anywhere. Oh, I should say actually, can press um, RB for the map. Uh, don't know what they're showing that. Park our airship there. Let's see what's going on in here. That's not Sassoon. Hello. Here's Sassoon. <laughs> A terrible uh, curse had befallen the people in Castle Sassoon while I was gone. Only the power of the Mithril Ring may save them, I am told. But Kazus is suffering from the same fate as Sassoon. I must do something, but where will I find a Mithril Ring? I am the daughter of a blacksmith of Kazus. The king must still have a ring. My father made it. <laughs> you come to borrow a king's mythical ring to save Kazus. Will you help us through? An audience with the king? Yes, I believe I can arrange that. Come, I will be waiting in the filming. Again, if you play the FFB drinking game, it's a shot every time you hear the word king and ring. Down you drink if you hear King and Ring in the same sentence. Okay. <laughs> but, um, this is a fine mess that someone's gotten us into. What will become of this kingdom? Is there any way to live for Jean's cut? Yes, we're going to do it. <laughs> I'm worried about the King and Princess Sarah, but I can't do much of anything in this state. If I weren't a ghost, I'd go defeat the gym myself. Snort. <laughs> Have a rest up. Ah, it's like a log. Excellent. Um, yeah, there's quite a few items we can grab in here as well. We'll go meet the king first, um, and we'll go give um, the castle a little explore. The sword White Slayer, the bane of all undead, is stored atop the western tower. The shield cave is guarded by undead animated by the power of darkness. You must know that cure is harmful to them. Yeah, so uh, those are some pretty cool tips actually. i uh, go into more detail about that a little later. Regine's curse has befallen us all, and I am no exception. Sire, these younglings have come seeking the Mithril Ring to counter the curse. The Mithril Ring? You seek to use its powers to banish a gym once again? I will grant you this boon, however my daughter hold, holds the ring, and she went missing shortly before the curse was cast upon us. If a princess holds the ring, the gym may have taken her. If it is so, I fear for my precious Sarah. The gym must have taken her to its cave to the north. Don't worry, sir. We'll get her back. Sire, I would ask to. Uh, I'd like to ask you for leave to accompany these brave souls to the sealed cave and rescue Lady Sarah. Ingus, a loyal soldier of King Sassoon's army, he narrowly escaped the gym's curse. His prime concern is finding the missing Princess Sarah. So, um, yeah, this is our fourth and final party member. Of course not. His sword is worth twice that of these two. Hey! <laughs> not actually being into a battle together, Raffia. That's not fair. I agree, Luna. Uh, but I agree that I think one of the king's men will help us out a lot. Ingus has joined the party. Sweet. King Sassoon, there's a secret passage. <laughs> there's a secret passageway in the seal cave. Search for the skeleton key. I was counting on you and your friends, Ingus. Banish your gin and save us all. Okay, sweet. 
Um, so as I mentioned, there's a, a number of items in um, in this area. I've seen a few of them already. If you go through this uh, crack in the wall, go up for Phoenix down. Not bad at all. Uh, just move on down here. Moving on up, moving on up. We get a lava shield and a blizzard. That'd be handy for. Uh, oh, actually, I guess I can sort out my magic here as well. Uh, so maybe a bit of spoilers as to how I'm going to arrange my party uh, later, but um got blizzard there. Sleep there. Right here. So you can have cure. And poison it. And uh, yeah, if you continue left there's another hidden passage and this leads to uh, some bone snuffles. And uh, that is actually a quick ingus, which we'll forget. Um, we give him two lots of bronze knuckles. Um, yeah. awesome. Hey, sweet. So our party looks like it's coming together now. Pretty nicely. Um, oh, we've just got a couple more items to grab here. That's in the form of a uh, 2,000 gil in these two chests. So, not bad at all. Right, um, and now there's actually two towers in this area. Uh, one to the east and one to the west. Uh, we'll go to the east and one first because there's no enemies in this one. Atop the eastern tower is Lady Sarah's quarters. I endeavour to keep it spotless until the day she returns. I believe she would not be adverse to you entering, Sir Ingus. Ooh, Ingus with the fingers. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I take that back, but... Um, yeah, what the Ingus. Um, the chest contained holy arrow. And here we get some wooden arrows. Not bad at all. Lady Sarah, until she disappeared, was praying every day for your safe return, Sir Ingus. Here we get a potion, wooden arrows, and a bow. So, uh, yeah, feel free to equip them if you wish. Uh, but we're going into a western tower. Now, this has a few enemies that uh, we'll want to search out for our best Uh Again, none of these enemies are missable at this moment in time. If we do come across any missable enemies, I'll um, let you know. Um, but what I want to do is sneak up to the top uh, ASAP. Um, well, here we've got a... I want to get rid of the dark eye first because that can deal... Um, Inflict blind. And, um, yeah, not, not too, um, uh, what's the word? <laughs> well, you know, I'd like to avoid having that status put on us, uh, just now. And the best will uh, keep on attacking. Area for enemies that we can find it. Um, yeah, you can actually cast um, cure on the zombies, um, and that'll uh, deal quite heavy damage uh, to them. So yeah, it's up something to keep in mind. Of course, you might want to say cure for the um, for your actual party. Here we 
get some arrows. And some more arrows. So, um, yeah, before we go to this, um, go for our party members. Which is, look, folks. Chest contains White Slayer, but it's a trap. Now, I mentioned earlier about um, equipping um, during battles, and this is as good a time as any. So, we actually get the White Slayer in our inventory. Uh, so, it's well worth equipping that now and then attacking with Luna. Um, can also uh, yeah, cast a Blizzard with um, Art and can pop her with a Longsword and be Sir Attack. And then he's got the Bronze Knuckles. So, yeah. Um, it's not too difficult to fight. Got uh, 238 HP. Um, so, should be all good to go. Again, if you've got the Antarctic Wind, uh, you might want to use that as well. What we're doing that, we get our new type, the White Slayer. So, well worth it. Job level increases and Ingus gets a level so I believe he's on level um, 5 as well. Sweet. Um, so what I'm going to do here folks is I'm just going to get Luna and Ingus um, to level 6 and Arthur and Matthew to level 5. So <laughs> we've got uh, Ark and uh, Ingus to level up, uh, Ark and uh, Rapia, sorry, to level 5, so yeah, I'll just get um, Luna and Ingus to level 6, um, and then we'll um, join you uh, when we've done that. Um, again, if you need to heal, just pop into um, the beds in the King's Chamber, uh, or uh, in Sarah's Chamber, she can heal up. Okay, hey guys, uh, we're all done with leveling, so I've got Luna up to 6, Ark and Raphia up to level 5, and Ingus up to 6. Uh, here's what our equipment is looking like, um, just in case you guys want to follow along. So I, I ended up finding out that I had an extra longsword, so I popped out on Ark. Um, uh, we've got Ingus with the two bronze knuckles, so that's where the because uh, I was originally going to put in with a long sword as well, uh, so that's how we got one extra. Um, right, uh, I, I should also say, I don't know whether I mentioned it, but um, in this tower you can find um, it's Dark Eyes, Red Wisp, which seems to be the rarest enemy, uh, but I found that on the upper floor and on the lower floor, if anybody's interested, and also the zombies. Um, so yeah, just uh, be going for that vestry uh, completion as well. Those um, enemies are located there. Uh, but we're going to head over to the sealed cave. And this, I would say, is the first proper dungeon. Um, and uh, you'll recall that the advice to save regularly. Uh, now, in, in this game, there's no save points in any of the dungeons. So... Um, just uh, make sure to, to make and keep a note of that. And um, yeah, let's go in. Um, so, again, uh, there's quite a few enemies here. I'll probably search for them uh, and show them off uh, on street screen later. Um, but for now, let's uh, go down, down, deep in down. And um, yeah, follow this and you get, surprise, surprise, a potion. Here we have a skeleton and a mummy. Um, now, uh, somebody in the castle actually gave us tips about these enemies. And you'll recall they mentioned that um, the White Slayer is effective, so that's that sword we've got from fighting Griffin. And also, uh, Cure. Uh, so you can cast Cure on the enemies and um, that'll deal quite heavy damage to them. 
Hey, nice, and dark in there. I feel like John does for me, level 6 club. So, um, yeah, just keep an eye on that. Um, okay, uh, so continuing on. In this little chamber, if we go north, we can get another cure spell. Um, so, what I think I'll do with this cure is that I'll pop it on Ingus for now. Um, and it'll probably just be something that I use outside of battle. Um, and then, again, we can sort of quick spells or something uh, oh, here we've got some cursed coppers. Uh, uh, wasn't expecting to see these here. Um, they have a rare encounter on this floor. I mean, I say there, I think it's like 10% chance or something like that. So, you know, not super, super rare, but... Um, yeah, that's pretty groovy. So let's keep on moving on down, and um, this should take us to uh, uh, to a second level. Uh, down to the lower left, we can get a battle. Uh, so that's just some skeletons. Luna actually leveled up there, uh, but we can get 500 gills, so not bad at all. Uh, and again, uh, we, we explored that house that told us about zooming in. We heard about a skeleton uh, key. So, yeah, that's sort of um, all hinting towards that. Uh, and yeah, just uh, make sure to use that zoom in function uh, when you can. <laughs> I was actually expecting a scene to occur there. <laughs> okay, I didn't just gain the level. There we go. Hello. Ingus, thank the heavens you're safe. Lady, you must hurry back to the castle. We'll take care of the rest here. But before you go, we need to borrow your myth. Yeah, give us your ink <laughs> and go away. There's no need, I will go with you. I have come here to banish your gin and save my people just like you. The Royal Highness has spoken. What should we do? She should be alright as long as Zingus looks after her. No harm will come to Lady Sarah as long as I live and breathe. Okay. Well, thank you, everyone. Hey. Uh, so, this is our first guest party member. Uh, what she does is she'll um, turn up randomly uh, in fights. Um, and uh, Princess Sarah specifically, she'll cast Cure or Arrow. So it can be quite handy. Uh, you can also speak to her to get some nice scenes. Hello there, I'm Princess Sarah. What are your, uh, what's your name? I'm Luna. Nice to meet you. Raffia. <laughs> oh. Very nice to meet you, Luna. Oh, I should tell you about saving. Okay. Uh, well, there's one with Ingus, and there's one with Art, and the one with Bark actually gives you a bit of a tip towards the uh, upcoming boss. Um, Try that again, and um, uh, there we go. <laughs> the tin is a fire elemental. It should be susceptible to cold, so it should be weak to a blizzard spell and the Antarctic wind item. So there you go. I guess if anybody's interested in the Ingus one, well, I swear it exists, but I'm not having any luck finding it. Uh, it's nothing too interesting, to be honest. Um, but yeah, if we con uh, follow the path south, uh, we get an Antarctic wind, and um, there's one more item about here. Um, yeah, so I, I should say, um, compared to here we go against the lava. Um, compared to say, hey, there's Princess Sarah. Um, the 2D version of um, Final Fantasy III. This has a, a little bit more story, not a lot more story. Um, but yeah, it's uh, you can sort of see what the characters have in their own unique names and personality. Um, again, it's not going to blow you away or anything, but it is nice. Um, 
I do actually, I've always had a preference for sort of like the, the 2D versions actually. Um, but yeah, this uh, Final Fantasy 3 was actually first released on the Nintendo DS in 2006 in the West. Um, I think it is 1990 on the NES, um, on the Famicom, uh, back in the day, but that was only in Japanese, so yeah, we, we didn't get this until 2006, um, and this is the Steam version that I'm playing. Um, so here is the boss, I'm just going to go and check for a couple more enemies that I need to find, uh, the Shadows and the Revenants, so um, yeah I'll uh, catch you guys when we uncover them and then we'll go fight with uh, the boss, the gym. Okay, oh here's the first um, fight, the Revenants, um, yeah Raffi could do with healing for some <laughs> So, yeah, I think she should be able to withstand one more attack. So. Hey, I think it's got a job level increase. Right, <laughs> okay, I'll uh, catch you when we find the shadows. Okay, folks, here we go, we've got the shadows. Uh, now, I should say, actually, uh, that you can also um, equip the bow and the holy arrows. Uh, those will also be effective against the um, enemies down here. And they said it's coming with the cure as well. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not there. I'm not curing our party yet. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, you might. I, I, I don't really like using bows, to be honest, but uh, if you were so inclined, uh, those holy arrows that we've got from Castle Sassoon and their bows should be uh, very effective here. And that didn't take me too long, I was just in this room here. Yeah, looking for those shadows and revenants. And uh, I guess for anybody following along, I'll, I'll try and remember to put this in the description, but yeah, in, in this cave we can find mummy skeletons, uh, the, the, the cursed coppers, the lava, the shadows and the revenants. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to heal up with Ingus. Um, and let's go. Kick this guy's butt. Prepare to meet your doom, Jin. This thing will banish you once and for all. It's like a fist to me. Nothing's happening, but why? <laughs> Your bauble has no power over me. Now that I am infused with the power of darkness. Let's go. Well, here we go. Um. So, uh, yeah, with Luna full attack, we'll cast Blizzard with Arc. Uh, with Lethia, um, we'll use the Antarctic Wind. And um, Ingus can use his um, Bronze Knuckles to attack. Uh, this guy's got 600 HP. Um, should be all good. Um, if you've got a nice strat, just stick with that. Um, again, maybe we're a little bit over leveled as well. Uh, maybe about eights and sevens. Um, but yeah, um, if you are getting low with HP, uh, just heal uh, with cure. You cannot escape the ring's power now. No! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Oh dear. Hey, what's going on? You must return to the castle, my lady. Do not fear us, we will be fine. What's happening? Ingus! Snooping as usual, I see. Oh, here we are, back in the crystal room. 
uh, from old to cave when we first started. But where are we? I just said. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, we're actually going to get our, our uh, first set of jobs, um, which is what Final Fantasy 3 is sort of known for. We're also FF5, um, that sort of, um, you know, really is how you summoned you, uh, that really developed the job system, but yeah, Final Fantasy 3 is sort of like the, the precursor to 5 in that regard. You four have been chosen to be the warriors of light, bringers of hope. You must take with you the last of my light and the last of our world's hope. Unless you act, the light will be lost and the equilibrium forever broken. Once you take in the light, you will be able to extract the power from the other crystals. Awesome. Uh, so we get a little bit of a credit scene here. Uh, we get a backdrop of a nice crystal and a nice uh, little tune as well. Um, so, yeah, we'll. we'll uh, after this uh, scene, we will equip the jobs, um, but, you know, I can appreciate people that want to sit through this. Um, <laughs> and we'll catch you in the next part, um, but, yeah. Um, again, if anybody wants to share their preferred job classes, feel free to let me know. Uh, I should say as well, if, if you're not a fan of me voicing the lines, let me know. It'd probably be too late for me to change it for Final Fantasy 3, but I was hoping to do the FF4 remake at some point. Um, so, um, yeah, if you'd prefer just my commentary rather than me voicing the lines, then I'm happy to do that in future. And, you know, feel free to um, share your preferred job classes or anything. Um, yeah, I'd be happy to, to be... Uh, again, no no pressure or anything uh, to comment or whatever. So, <laughs> if you care to, it's always uh, nice to see how, how people, uh, how other people play the game. Um, but yeah, that's um, everything pretty much done for part two. Um, now, when the fourth, we paid them, it's like I knew it's well, it's fear, it's hope. Destiny that the fell uh, You must drive the darkness from this world and restore light to its rightful place. Will do. You are our last hope. Thank you, Crystal. Um, oh, we will actually get the uh, Moogle and tells us what to do. Um, Being blessed with the crystal's light. Awesome. Um, so, off the top of my head, the jobs we get are um, now go up, step onto the shining circle behind this altar, you return to the surface, and base your destiny while he is up the light. I guess a similar premise to uh, Final Fantasy 1 as well. Here we go, Mr. Meeple. Congratulations, Koopo, you can now change jobs. You can access job specific abilities by changing jobs, Koopo. Be careful though, you won't automatically be proficient in each job, Koopo. You'll need to practice each job to maximize its potential. Try it out. Good luck, Koopo. Uh, so essentially, um, I think you have to start fighting it about a few battles each time you change jobs to get used to them uh, and really it's just to prevent swapping jobs every time um, without punishment I'm not sure that's how I'd go about it but um, yeah it's, it's what it is um, yeah we've got warrior, monk, white mage, black mage, red mage and thief now, I always like having a thief character I, I think just having Sedane 
uh, has put me onto that. Um, art, it'll be our black mage um, for the time being. And he'll probably be like the, the um, mage of the group, the, the sort of um, magic caster, uh, the offensive magic caster. Uh, Refia uh, is going to have a set healer. This will be a white mage for now. And uh, Ingus is our warrior. Uh, now you saw that little adjustment phase, um, that, that tells you how many battles we have to do to adjust to our, our new jobs, um, and I, I'll go into more detail on that next stream, uh, next, uh, next part. Um, let's get to equipping. Um, Give Ingus the helmet. Um, he can just go for his uh, bare fist now. Um, and uh, unfortunately, nobody can uh, equip a white slayer, so uh, you'd have to go for freelancer for that. Um, <laughs> But hey, it's good while it lasted, right? Um, so here we go. Um, before the next video, I'll um, do the battles to get our jobs adjusted. Uh, so you don't, don't have to worry about that. But yeah, we'll catch you guys the next time. Uh, let's just throw in the cheeky save as well. And yeah, thanks as always for watching. Cheers, guys.